Hello, I am Eric Porter, and this video is about the compressions created by angled forces. With a 90 degree even bridle, the sideways forces created from where I am hanging will be 50% of the load that is imposed. If I were to create that bridle with a single sling, the compression rises from 50% to about 121%. This is because we need to add in the 71% tension in the sling, going horizontally as well. We almost never rig like that, but if you think about it, that shape, when inverted, is exactly how we pick up trusses. So if this angle is approximately the 90 degrees, the compression across the bottom of the truss will be approximately 120% of the load that we're picking up. There are many different ways to sling a truss. Too many for me to discuss in this short video, but one in particular I want to take note of is very commonly seen this X-shaped wrap. Now, if the angle that the slings meet at is very shallow, the compressions get very large. For a 500 kilogram load on a 30 centimeter truss, with a 120 degrees angle here, the compression across the top cord is about 850 kilos, and the compression across the bottom cords is about 960 kilos, very much more than the load itself. Of course, a smaller angle reduces tension in the sling and therefore the compressions on the truss. But now we have lost some height. So perhaps the best solution is to use two separate short slings choked like this, or possibly a purpose-built lifting bracket. And we've made another video on this topic. Thank you very much. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, <laughs>